Hi friends, welcome to Ajay Automation channel. I hope you are all doing good. So in this video, let's quickly review about three important automation testing real time scenario based interview questions asked recently in many interviews. Okay, so I see these questions are commonly asked for experienced candidate, but fresher candidates can also know about these topics. So let's quickly jump into the topic. So the first question is consider you are committing code and the interview said you should not commit large folders like node modules or test output folder etc what will you do in this case so you might have heard about dot git ignore file okay so this will be present in your root directory okay on of your repository okay the purpose of dot git ignore file is if we do not want any files or directories to be ignored in all your code commits we can add the file names in this dot git ignore file okay so below are some of the commands followed in dot git ignore file okay asterisk.log will ignore all the log files so if you want to ignore specific folders you should follow uh, forward slash folder name and forward slash okay so it's really important you know about these kind of files like dot, dot, dot git ignore etc okay so let's see the next question and the question is you have two testing environments qa and production how do you handle automation in both the environments using your automation framework so if you are kind of attending interviews for some time, I see you would have received this question at least in one interview. Okay, because as a QA engineer, we work in different environments, QA staging or maybe production. Okay, so handling automation in all these environments is very critical to your project. Okay, so this is very important to me. So uh, you can answer this question in a specific order. Okay, there are multiple answers to this question. So in this video, I'll explain two answers. Okay, so the first answer is you need to create property files, specific property files for QA and production. The left one in this image is for QA and the right one is for production. Okay. In the base URL, you could see QA.AjayAutomation and in production, I am not using any QA or prod, just AjayAutomation.com. Okay. So we need to create specific property files for QA and production and you can hard code what are all values you are going to call into your selenium test from this property file so here i am hard coding only base url and username okay step two is we need to create a java uh, class to call these property file values to our selenium test okay so we have to call these values to our selenium test right for that we have to create a data reader java class that is step two and the step three is in your base test, whatever Java class you created for data reading from this property file, you have to initialize the config uh, log load property files in your base, te base test class. That is before every met test run or every method run, you have to call this property file. Okay, so step four and the final step here is during runtime, you can use Maven commands to execute these tests in different environments. So here I consider two environments. So I am calling Maven commands for running only in two environments in QA and production. Okay, so let me show you a quick demo. I have hard -coded, uh, coded some scripts to explain this question. Okay, so this is the property file I created for QA. Okay, I am calling base URL and username only and this for production. So here you see no QA or production mentioned, just ajayautomation.com. So as I said in step two, that is, this is the Java class I created to call these property file values to into our Selenium test. Okay. And the step three, as I explained in my test base class before every method, I am calling this whatever Java file I created for data reading. Okay. And let me show you, well, let me run this project in where is terminal okay so i am going to run production maven clean test uh, environment is production so the what url should be launched ajayautomation.com okay let's so let's see it's getting launched okay the project is running and ajay automation is launched in the chrome so suppose if you want to run qa environment just mention qa okay so now um so whatever uh, QA URL you have mentioned in new new QA dot property files, this will be running. Okay. So these are the four simple steps to handle automation in multiple environments. And kindly note, if you are using CICD pipelines, you don't have to hard code Maven test values in your terminal like I did now. So you basically can mention in your YAML files and whatever environment you want to run, it will be running in your CACD pipeline. 
okay so let's see an another approach for the same question so almost same steps okay first four steps are almost similar for this approach also create a property file for qn production create a property loader java class as i as we already saw in the second question again uh, same step for step 2 and step 3 also initialize your config loader in your base test class so first three steps are same here also and the fourth step is there is a we can use maven profile uh, profiles here okay in our pom.xml file we can declare our maven profiles and declare the environment value here okay so here on the right side you could see i have mentioned environment as qa okay this is the second approach okay uh, we could use maven profiles and configure our environments whatever environment you have to run you can configure through your pom.xml file using maven profiles and additionally we have to modify your maven surefire plugin to pass your property values also so finally you can run with the profile similar uh, maven test only the hyphen p will be changed here so this is the second approach for the same question so handling different environments in automation is very important please do uh, hands-on training in this area okay freshers or experienced candidates only if you do hands-on training will be able to answer this question in, in the real interview okay so let's see the next question how do you manage sensitive data like credentials passwords api keys in test automation so i have to definitely talk about this guys so we cannot hard code password or api keys or any sensitive credentials in your selenium framework because managing credentials securely in test automation is critical okay you cannot just hard, uh, hard code username password and commit the code in your git repository you cannot do that so please be prepared in this question also okay below are some useful ways you can follow okay we you can store cred, uh, consider you are doing automation in your local machine you can store credential as environment variables in your local machine or through your cicd pipeline and set them in your terminal before running test okay in the right side i have uh, written a sample code okay you can use terminal okay for running selenium test in that way you are not hard coding any values in your automation framework and you are not going to commit your password also in your git repository okay and the next thing is if you are running tests in cacd or cloud platforms through your git repository please do make sure you are using uh, credentials in a secure secret manager like aws secret manager azure key vault or google secret manager okay these uh, tools help us to not to commit our password in our uh, git repository okay and we simply have to use these tools and write a simple utility class to catch the data during runtime okay uh, please make sure you are uh, during automation run do not log credentials anywhere like in log test test reports or test logs anywhere username or password should not be there or any api keys okay so this question is also very important in terms of interview okay so i hope these three questions will be really useful for your automation interviews we have come to end of today's video and I have been informed in this uh, about uh, the booklet in my previous video also. We are crea creating a booklet containing all the Selenium interview questions. Okay, CACD, maybe uh, Java uh, codes are asked in automation or OOPS concepts, Selenium techniques like drop down, okay, dynamic drop downs, everything. So it's been almost three months I'm creating. It's taking time because I don't want to miss any miss any single topic. Okay, so um, hopefully it will, it will be ready in the next month. Okay, so thanks for watching my video. Please do subscribe my channel and watch out for more automation training videos and interview preparation related videos. Okay, so have a good day guys. Bye. Take care.